G'day everyone. Day 13. Field mill. This is a project I've been meaning to make for a very long time and I finally got around to putting it together. So a field mill is a kind of electroscope basically. It measures static electric fields by mechanical commutation of the electrical field detecting sensor. So what I've done here is I've just cut out some PCB material in this trefoil shape and we have this rotor piece and a ground plate both of which are just made out of printed circuit board material and we have a toy electric motor, it's like a you know, 1 volt, 1.5 volt motor, a 3 volt motor. It's actually a bit fast and noisy for the project, but it does the job. So its job is to spin the rotor. Now, in the stator, underneath here, which is just isolated from ground, we just have another trefoil, it's a little bit smaller, so it's shadowed completely when these things are above it, when, or exposed when they're at this phase. And I've hooked this up just straight to the... Uh, straight to the oscilloscope at the moment. We'll, uh, in a, probably in a later video we'll talk more about making an amplifier for this and a synchronous de um, detector so it can detect not only uh, the amplitude of an electric field but also its, ma its, um, its sign. At the moment it, it'll, it really, all you can tell here is that there is an electric field in its amplitude but you don't get the, the vector um, quantity of it. Okay, so it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I just soldered this directly to the shaft the, uh, the plate here doesn't touch the shaft, it's completely isolated from it, and the ground plane and the, the front um, rotor are shorted together via the motor bearings, fortunately. Okay, so let's spin it up. You can see, spinning rotor, so it's covering, alternatively covering and uncovering the sense electrode, ro uh, stator plate in there. Now that's means that any electric field that's impinging on the ground plate is either seen or not seen alternately by the sensor plate and basically you're, you're chopping the capacitance between that plate and whatever object may be out here with an electric field so on the oscilloscope you can see here it's running there's some commutation noise from the motor that I've done my best to suppress but there's some residual electric charge on this thing and it's detecting that electric field. But what I can do is I can charge up a piece of acrylic. This is just an, an acrylic offcut. I'm going to charge it up by rubbing it through my hair. Now when I approach the field mill with it, let's try and do this in a way that you can actually see both at the same time. Okay. The voltage that's measured at the oscilloscope at the, by, with the oscilloscope probe rises quite significantly. Now that's one volt per div in either 1 meg and uh, what about 20 picofarads of capacitance is the probe input so that's a pretty darn big signal just from a, a piece of acrylic that I rubbed through my hair I'm sure that with suitable synchronous um, detection and amplification with a lock-in amplifier we can get much better sensitivity so that, that might be the, the subject of later videos but I thought the interesting part was was actually making the, the physical and the mechanical part of it certainly that this is the, mo the furthest I've got with building a field mill for some time, even though I've, uh, I've wanted to do it for uh, for many years. Alrighty, super simple one. I will I'll put the CAD files up. It's just uh, OpenSCAD for the the 2D mechanical stuff. Uh, it's obviously a lot easier to make if you have a, a circuit board mill that can make the the printed circuit board cut out. It's also uh, possible uh, to just laser cut it out of acrylic and put tape down and cut the tape up. Or uh, obviously you can you can cut this out of sheet metal or, or any other way that you can fabricate it, it it's completely non-critical um, yeah, the bigger it is the more sensitive it will be the um, the more shielded you can make everything but the sense electrode the better and uh, you can calibrate it by putting it in an electric field so you can put two plates with a known distance between them and put a you know, certain voltage across them and that's one way of calibrating it we'll probably talk about that later when we, when we actually try and calibrate it so my, my hope is basically to to turn this into a calibrated electric field strength meter. Alrighty, um, it's been uh, been pretty busy at work, so the time that I've had to spend on these projects has been a little bit limited. I'll try and get on with some of the uh, the um, bipolar junction transistor and other um, device, you know, 101 kind of videos uh, in the next few days. I've also got a bunch of other circuits, some of which are electrostatic, some of which are RF, and of course questions and, uh, and recommendations in the comments and I'll, I'll get to them uh, as soon as I can. Alrighty, till then, bye.